Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review from the new fragrance from Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Beau Paradise Garden. Now this fragrance has been getting quite a bit of hype online. I don't know what it is about Jean-Paul Gaultier, but for some reason it always gets hyped up. I don't know if it's just because of the delayed release in the Americas that people just get really excited about it. Even though there are literally like hundreds of these things out there, for some reason every release just gets a lot of attention. I grabbed this over at Duty Free when I was coming back from Exxon. So I just wanted to do a quick first impression of this fragrance because I've actually spent some time with this over the last few days, worn it once or twice, tested it out on my skin. I definitely have some interesting thoughts. So let's go over the notes. Of course, we have watery notes. We have green notes, ginger, coconut, and fig with salt, sandalwood, and tonka bean. And based off of the notes, it has many things that I love. Coconut, fig, watery notes, like that aquatic feel. What's not to love about this? Like, it just sounds like something that I would be obsessed with. But a spoiler alert, I'm not. Hate to say it, but I just, I'm not. So the opening of this, it actually opens very pleasant. I do really enjoy the opening of Le Beau Paradise Garden. It has this very familiar kind of coconutty feeling, but very fresh. And the problem is, is that after about 15 and a half seconds, this starts to change the worst. It comes very overpowering. And it's interesting because I've heard others say that this is less sweet, less cloying, less overpowering than Le Beau Le Parfum. Mm, I don't know about that. It's sweet, but it's not like in a typically sweet, thick kind of tonka bean type of way. But there's something about this that is just intrusive. I was going to say bad, but <laughs> intrusive invading like it just invades your nostrils in a really bad way something just super 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 synthetic here and on top of that it's also very powdery and it almost creates this kind of like laundry detergent type of vibe this very intense powdery laundry detergent type of smell that is just it gives it a clean side but it's not it's just not something that I really like the way that it's done in this. It's just so synthetic. It does smell very fresh and very green, just crazy synthetic and a tad generic as well. And it does also smell because of those synthetics, it smells kind of cheap, which isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world because the fact is, is that this fragrance is very cheap. I picked this one up, um, a 75 ml for, I believe after the conversion, it was like $75. This one has the potential to induce headaches. It does for me. It gives me a headache. Kind of has a part of it that's a little aqua de joe smelling like, but just with coconut and more synthetic and some undertone of sweetness as well. This vanilla, it's very strong, I will say. Crazy sillage, crazy projection. It's like a synthetic coconut water with fig and some undertone of sweetness like vanilla. And the tonka bean gives it some sweetness as well, but not too much. It's mixed with this saltiness as well. It kind of balances it hand in hand with the sweetness. It has this very strong kind of molecule feeling. And the thing is, is that some people are going to really love this. In fact, a lot of people do really love this. Very mixed reviews on this online. I'm just not one of these people, guys. I hate to say it, I want to be on the hype train. Like, hype trains are fun. I like to ride the hype train sometimes. And it's, it's just not it for me, it's just not it. It's going to be very polarizing. This is not blind by safe at all. Absolutely not. And as it dries, I will say that sharp kind of powderiness does dissipate a little bit. It gets greener as well, a little bit more creamy, just a touch bit more creamy, almost a touch minty. It does have this tropical feeling, but it doesn't scream tropics like Le Beau Le Parfum does for me. It's more green and aquatic with some coconut, very juvenile. Once again, I hate to say it, but it's a little juvenile. For me, I picture this on like a middle schooler, high schooler, like a guy under 20. It just, 
it really gives me a headache. It really does. It's almost like there's very few fragrances that give me like an instant headache. It's so far like on the list is, that stands out to me, this and Sauvage Elixir. Like it just, there's just something about it that does not work for my nose at all. Really was a letdown. I was really pumped. Literally, I almost risked missing my flight to get this fragrance. I was sprinting through Heathrow. I literally had two minutes to get on my flight because I had to stop at Duty Free to grab this. I flew into Duty Free, grabbed it, checked out, and ran to my gate. It was a mess. I was so excited to love this. It's not worth it to me. I think that it's not worth trying to source it from overseas either. I would just wait for it to come to the United States. Try it at a store like Macy's. Make sure that you really like it. Get a sample or two. Spray it on your skin because this is not something that's going to be safe to blind by. Polarizing as hell. It's a solid two out of 10 for me. And I hate to say that, I really do. It's really sad, but I had to give you guys my honest opinion as always, so big letdown. Really, really sad, actually, really sad. Lebeau Paradise Garden. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment below if you tried it. Are you excited about it? Are you worried that it's going to be a letdown now? I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.